going on YouTube? Happy Thursday everybody, it's Vikings95 here and we have heat number two, week number two. This is actually the big week of heat number two because this is if we make it into the, uh, you know, the semifinals and then potentially the finals or not. You add up the weeks one and two of each heat and then the week three and four. Three is the semifinals, and if you win against whoever you're matching up against, you go into the championship. It's just for fun. It's a fun fantasy rip league, combining card opening and fantasy football. And uh, I did not do super stellar. I did have a pretty good Brock Purdy play, but him and Travis Etienne carried my team. I am in seventh place out of nine, but there's really not that big of a difference. So it is definitely going to come down to this week to see who moves on to the semis. Uh, there are four teams that'll move on and there are nine teams total. So over half the teams will not make it. Today, I thought it would be fun with a 2023 blaster box and a 2023 mosaic football mega box. We should see a, a good amount of parallels. Hopefully a playable numbered card out of the blaster. We'll see. And uh, potentially numbered card, maybe an autograph out of the mega. Uh, I, I have not had good luck with megas. So I need to have some good luck eventually. Hopefully, eventually we'll hit a case hit. Um, it's been It's been rough with megas this year. Like megas have been, I mean, I'm going to be honest. Megas have been absolutely terrible for me this year. Uh, Mosaic in the past has been pretty good, but I have spent way too much money on Mega Boxes, and uh, they have not panned out. So we're gonna see if uh, if I can get some luck with one of these Megas. I mean, eventually, you know, like the odds start to turn into your favor, but uh, we'll find out. Because this is oh, man, I don't even know. I've lost count. I think probably my fourth Mega Box between Target and Walmart. So we're gonna see. We're going to see, and then these, uh, this elite one is really for the numbered cards. They don't have a ton of parallels. I guess they do have some greens in the green disco. So we'll find out with that as well. But it should be a fun opening regardless. So let's start with a mega box pack. See if we can get some nice parallels. See if we can get maybe a case hit. And then, uh, man, who's on buy this week? I think it's the Packers and Steelers, if I remember right. We'll find out. Uh, but Andre Johnson, I'm going to do the same thing I normally do, make the team at the end, unless I, like, you know, feel pretty confident I'm going to, like, put a player uh, into the quarterback, two running back, tight end, two wide receiver, kicker slash defensive player, or defense slash special team. So Andre Johnson, Chris Carter, Justin Herbert, potential quarterback, a Brenton Strange rookie card, and then two reactives, first one is Andre Reed, that's not going to be playable, and a Tank Bigsby, who, that's actually a pretty decent pull, um, he's been, he's shown spurts of being good behind Travis Etienne, then elevate CD Lamb, so I gotta sleeve up the, the solid rookies when I find them, not in a thick card sleeve though, which apparently is what I grabbed, um, so let me get a different sleeve, there we go, that is a normal sleeve, um, so there is a Tank Bigsby rookie. Let's go to Donner's Elite. And these ones were, yeah, this way. Jalen Hyatt, there's our green disco. It is a rookie green disco, followed by Michael Pittman Jr., Desmond Ritter, and Sauce Gardner. So potential uh, wide receiver, probably not quarterback. And... Uh, I don't know, Jalen Hyatt with the green disco. The green discos look sweet. I don't think I'll be playing them, though. I don't think, even with the multiplier, it would give a, uh, a good enough point total. All right, Jerry Judy, Jason Kelsey, Jahan Dotson. We have a Emmanuel Emmanuel Forbes. Emmanuel Forbes. This is what makes these mega boxes so tough. Is the the checklist is just so big um, that it can be very difficult to hit known rookies. So Emmanuel Forbes, another rookie parallel, just not one that we know. Aaron Rodgers can't play him. Najee Harris, he's on by. Tiki Barber, obviously can't play that. So this is uh, this is going to be interesting because. I am not hitting as many of the parallels that I've uh, expected to, or at least of playable cards. So we're going to see how this goes. But 
Here we go. Kid Reporter card. Looks like we might have a numbered. So here's the Kid Reporter. It is a Chase Claypool uh, for the full throttle. Not going to play that one. Behind him. Numbered. Numbered is times three. We have out of 625, it is a New York Giant Dexter Lawrence. New York Giant Dexter Lawrence. I don't. I don't know about that. That's a stretch. Dexter Lawrence. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe for a defensive player. I don't think I could do that as the uh, the Giants defense. Um, don't know if I would want to do that. So Dexter Lawrence, decent. Cooper Cup, who had a great week back in Scary Terry. It's all right. Dexter Lawrence is our first numbered. Um, hopefully one of these mosaic packs can provide something something we can play von miller khalil mack joe burrow another another quarterback option clayton toon rookie a dante hall man i saw the chiefs so i was like come on be Mahomes or something a rookie this oh there we go okay i thought it was someone else will mcdonald he is my iowa stater that could be a times two Jets defense. Now, Will McDonald has not been getting a lot of playing time. He was a first round draft pick. I don't know why he's not seen the field very much, um, but still on the Jets defense. So I will have to check that out. I'm going to throw that in the back because that's cool. He was an Iowa Stater and uh, not bad pulling that one. We got Jerry Rice right behind him. Okay, I, I have a feeling this might be a, a semi-difficult week. I think I probably didn't choose the right boxes. I thought I had some pretty good boxes, but uh, we'll find out. Okay, here is our oh man, here is our second rookie, or our second numbered card out of two ninety nine, Jartavius Martin. Jartavius Martin for the uh, Commanders. I mean, I guess it is another defense so I could play that as a defense we'll see we have a Damian Pierce Miles Garrett and a Drake London I need a tight end I don't think we've had a I don't, I don't know if we've had a tight end yet so that that could be another issue if I don't find a tight end to play Keyshawn Johnson Dalvin Cook Deontay Johnson Roshan Johnson man this was just the Johnson pack Roshan Johnson the Bears running back a T. Higgins would have been nice play. I don't know if he's going to be healthy enough to play. And, man, you got to be kidding me. Justin Jefferson, who is now on IR. That is a sweet-looking card. There we go. Travis Kelsey. I'm just going to throw that up there. Travis Kelsey, Epic Performers. JJ, Blue Reactive with the National Pride. That is beautiful. So disappointed to hear that he is on IR. I mean, like, it's been a, a rough week. For Vikings fans. You got the Twins who are now out of the playoffs. Vikings with one win. JJ on IR. Um, I, I'm i ready for new seasons, if I'm being honest. Like, this has just been tough. But, you know, sometimes that's how it goes. So, alright. We're going to keep it rolling. With Donruss Elite, we have Kid Reporter card. We got a Spellbound. Kid Reporter right there. Anyone wants it? Spellbound Tua. Now, this might count. I don't know if this counts as a parallel or not, because it is green. Um, I don't know. I don't know how that goes, because there are different spellbound parallels. So, Tua, maybe it counts, maybe it doesn't. I have no idea. We're going to put it there. Uh, Jared Goff, Aiden Hutchinson, and Kenneth Walker. That was a pretty playable pack. So I'm going to open one more mosaic. I'm going to do back-to-back -back Donruss Elites and finish with mosaic. Mari Cooper, Reggie Wayne, Ryan Tannehill, a bang parallel of Roy Williams. Bang Roy Williams right there. Mozzie Smith and a Zach Charbonnet with the blue reactive. Cam Akers Thunderlane. Not bad with the, uh, the Zach Charbonnet. That's a cool one. I don't think I'm going to play it, but that's a cool looking card. Nice color match right there. Um, which we need, we need as many rookie parallels as we can get because yet again, another semi, semi tough mega box. I mean, like, come on, megas. Come on, something. We're gonna go back to back Donner's Elite. Just want to end with Mosaic, but man, 
This has not been easy on me. A Davis Mills Field Vision. A green Tyler Scott rookie. Got to get my, my card pulling mojo back. Devontae Smith and Stephon Diggs. I've been on a, uh, a semi-cold streak as of recent, so we'll see. Here we go. Kid Reporter. I feel like I've pulled so many of these Spellbound cards. Another Tua. That one, the L. Tony Pollard. Joe Burrow. And Mike Evans. And the last pack. At least we got a tight end, right? Sometimes that is the hardest spot to fill for Fantasy Rip League. And here we go. We got Drake London. Isaiah Pacheco, Davon Achain, NFL debut rookie card, which I don't know if he's going to play this week, but this dude is an absolute beast. Been a lot of fun watching him. Luke Schoenmaker, Schoenmaker, a Chief, Larry Johnson. And last one, Brown, how is that Browns? That's College Uni. Garrett Williams with the College Uni card. Oh, Garrett Williams, and then a Tyreek Hill touchdown Masters. So, um, I don't know what we're going to do. Man, that was another, that was another rough mega box, if I'm being honest. Uh, not the best mega, but give me a second, literally a second, I will be back with my team. And we're back, and we got absolutely obliterated at running back, but... I'm going to take some shots in the dark. We're going to see what happens at quarterback. We're going with what I hope and assume is going to be a parallel since it's green times two. Tua with the spellbound. So at least we got a, a parallel there. Travis Kelsey is going to be the times one for running back. Honestly, the top options were Kenneth Walker, Tony Pollard. So no CMC, sadly, but we're going Kenneth Walker, Tony Pollard. Those are also times one. Tyree kills Stephon Diggs at wide receiver, both times one. And then the defense and defensive player are going to be, sadly, where all of our hope lies. A commander's defensive player is going to, or the commander's defense slash special teams. It is times three because we got numbered. And then the kicker slash defensive player, I'm going to use Dexter Lawrence of the Giants since it's numbered for another times three. So it, it is, uh, it's going to be painful. Um, this is going to be painful. What's crazy is out of all the mosaic mega box versus the Donner Salit blaster, I got two numbered cards out of Donner Salit. I got these two and those two. I'm using inserts from mosaic. I just, mosaic has been so tough this year. It is what it is, but we're going to keep rolling. Um, we got Dexter Lawrence. The Commander's Defense, Tyree Kills, Fondigs, Tua, Travis Kelsey, Tony Pollard, and K9. So we're going to see how it goes, but uh, I, I don't expect to be in the playoffs for the uh, Heat to Week 3, sadly, because I do not think this is a good enough team to uh, to climb back in, honestly. But maybe we'll be surprised. Maybe the defenses will come through. You never know. So with that, drop a comment down below if you think I should have changed to someone else. I mean, like, I thought about using the Jets defense. I don't know. I don't know. It'll be interesting. But uh, I appreciate each and every one of you watching. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your week. I'll see you later.